I would like to make a few very important announcements. Hope you all will cooperate and adhere to the following guidelines and help us make this event a success. Firstly, kindly don't leave the seats vacant in between. Else, we will not be able to adjust other parents who deserve to be here. You are advised to take the smaller babies in your laps. Secondly, be seated until the program ends. That is, not before the national anthem. If during the program, anyone wants to step out, use the exits at the back and not these front ones. Please keep your phones on silent mode. Let us be completely here and enjoy the program. Also, refrain from taking pictures here in the auditorium. We have an entire photography team dedicated to the same. So sit back and enjoy. Lastly, at the time of dispersal, we expect your support in terms of leaving the center aisle vacant for the exit of the chief guest. Later, parents may collect their word from their allotted venues. Looking forward to your support and cooperation as always. Let us begin! Before we begin the program, let us engage in a nostalgia quiz. At the outset, dear parents, how many of us have been associated with the school for more than five years now? That's amazing! And a heartfelt greetings to the parents who are new to our DLF family. Here comes the first question. When was DLF public school established? The options are present on the screen. Option A, 1996. Brilliant, that's the right answer. Here comes another question your way. During the Middle Ages, people used to drop their extra income into making orange-colored clay or pots out of paint. It is the origin of what practice used to promote goodwill and gratitude in our school DLF? Goodwill piggy bank. That was sensational! How many branches does the school have? Yes, that's the right answer. Which three words make up the motto of our school? Come on parents, I need you to initiate. School with the soul. Let me give you a hint. It is present on every student's dress. That was the right answer. and their corresponding colors? Can you guess the name of the four houses and their corresponding colors? Please speak in turns when giving the mic. First one is Mars, then Mercury, Venus, so, okay, that was partly correct, but can you tell me the uh, colors as well? Yeah. Their corresponding colors. Uh, Mars is red, then uh, Mercury, yellow, Venus, blue, Jupiter, green. Mind blowing! <laughs> Up to which grade does the school support Cambridge curriculum? Answer. Six. Yes, that's a fantastic answer. Recently, Education World, a prestigious organization based on an extensive survey, came out with the school rankings. Can anyone guess what rank did DLF receive? Second, second. Outstanding. That's the correct answer. Try 
चलिए अब चलते हैं कुछ हिंदी पहेलियों और टंग टूस्टर्स की ओर क्या आप सब तैयार हैं तो चलिए अब चलते हैं एक टंग टूस्टर की ओर समझ समझ के समझ को समझो समझ समझना भी एक समझ है समझ समझ के जो ना समझे वो मेरी समझ में ना समझ है तो इसको कौन दोहराना चाहेगा इधर आओ माइक लेके इधर समझ समझ के समझ को समझो समझ समझना भी एक समझ है समझ समझ के जो ना समझे मेरी समझ में वो ना समझ है लाजवाब सही बात है पक्षी गाते गाना सभी को जीवन देता है पर उसके पास न जाना इस परियों कौन उत्तर देना चाहेगा सर सूरज सही जवाब अब आपके सामने आती है एक और पहली एक बादल ऐसा जब मन आए तब बरसता दुख हो या सुख हो मौसम बिन मौसम भी बरसता दुख का या साथी बनता सुख में भी जम कर बरसता इसका उत्तर कौन देना चाहेगा आसो, आसो। सही जवाब प्यास लगे तो पी सकते हैं भूख लगे तो खा सकते हैं और ठंड लगे तो जला सकते हैं क्या कोई इसका उत्तर दे सकते हैं बिल्कुल सही जवाब एक किले में चोर बसे हैं प्रत्येक का मुंह है काला बूझ पकड़कर आग लगाई झटकर दिया उजाला बताइए क्या इसका उत्तर बिल्कुल सही उत्तर कभी रहूं तेरे पीछे कभी रहूं तेरे आगे मुझको कभी ना पकड़ सके तू चाहे जितना भागे इसका उत्तर कौन देना चाहेंगे सही जवाब हम अपने हिंदुस्तान को कितना जानते हैं तो चलिए हिंदुस्तान से संबंधित क्यों ना कुछ प्रश्न हो जाए स्लाइड स्लाइड पे दिखाया गया नृत्य कौन सा है और किस राज्य का है मथुरा अफसोस गलत जवाब क्या कोई उत्तर देना चाहेगा राजीला उत्तर प्रदेश लाजवाब एकदम सही उत्तर स्लाइड पर दिखाया गया नृत्य कौन सा है और किस राज्य से संबंध रखता है सही जवाब चलिए अब चलते हैं कुछ महाकाव्यों की ओर तो क्या आप तो तैयार हैं महाराज विराट की मैं पुत्री उत्तर कुमार की मैं भगिनी बताइए इस पांडव कुमार की मैं बनी जीवन संगिनी अभिमन्यु बिल्कुल सही जवाब राशिश मेरे मामा राशिश मेरी माँ कौन से पांडव बने मेरे तार इस प्रश्न का उत्तर कौन देना चाहेगा बिल्कुल सही जवाब तो चलिए अब चलते हैं हिंदी साहित्य की ओर वे मुस्काते फूल नहीं जिनको आता है मुरझाना वे तारों के दीप नहीं जिनको भागा है मुरझाना ये पंक्तियाँ किन कवित्र की हैं माधवी वर्मा एकदम सही उत्तर दो न्याय अगर तो आधा दो उसमें भी यदि बाधा हो तो दे दो केवल पांच ग्राम और रखो अपनी धरती तमाम ये प्रस्तुत पंजाब किस कवि के द्वारा लिखी गई है रामधारी सिंह रामधारी सिंह बिल्कुल सही जवाब सोने का हिरण बनकर मारी राम को चलने आया Our Honor Chief Guest, Mr. Manish Singh, the Divisional Forest Officer, Ghaziabad IFS, Respected Chairman Sir, our beloved Eri Ma'am, Principal Ma'am and Thai delegates who graciously walked down the aisle. Dear parents, kindly give them a standing ovation.
alchemy of the world's dream. You will change. Say the stars to the sun. Say the night to the stars. A very good morning to our esteemed guest, Mr. Manish Singh, respected chairman sir, ED ma'am, principal ma'am, the Thai delegates, respected teachers, the host families, honored members of media and dear parents. I am Ava and I, along with my friends Avni, Arav and Goranj, will be sailing you to today's journey of transformation. This day is epochal as it stands as a testament to ours and every Delphite shared vision of becoming socially oriented, value-based, sensitive world citizens. For me, DLF is not merely a school. It's a family. It's a life source. It's an institution par excellence. It's a value system and most importantly, a piece of who we grew up to be. Most definitely, Amma. Echoing the same sentiments are the members of our Western Vocal Music Club with their rendition of You Raise Me Up. The school and the parents are the wind beneath our wings. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with a huge round of applause our Delphites from the Western Vocal Music Club.
you are the ones who opened up this beautiful world for us. Thank, Thank you for opening our hands. This melodious song sung by our core Delphites was our token of gratitude to you, dear parents. You, along with our teachers, are the porters who create a masterpiece out of wet clay. A very good morning. Welcome you ma'am. And we also have today with us Mr. Nikhil Bhatnagar, the program manager at AFS India. I request ma'am to welcome him with a portrait plan that symbolizes wisdom and knowledge. And Ms. Bulbul Kashya, the coordinator at AFS India. We welcome you all. Hope you have a lovely interaction with our kids and so and you enjoy the program. Thank you. In accordance with a long standing and revered tradition within our school, we gather here today to invoke a sense of spirituality and tranquility by the auspicious lamp lighting ceremony. It is with great pride that I welcome our esteemed chief guest, Sri Mani Singh Ji, honored chairman sir, respected ED ma'am and principal ma'am to partake in this meaningful ceremony that signifies the dispelling of darkness both literally and metaphorically. This celebration of knowledge and wisdom will be wrapped in the ethereal tunes of Satya hi Ishwar hai or Satya se badkar parampat nahi. Ladies and gentlemen, smiling faces, proud hearts, light. A thousand lives can be reborn for this sight. Here in DLF, we never stop trying something new. Novelty is something that's always welcomed. With this thought in mind, for the first time in DLF, we have tried this concoction of a melodious Shamsrit slok, which will accompany the lamp lighting now. We need your love and encouragement for this. Thank you.
that was truly divine. With dedication, compassion, and unwavering determination, she strives. Executive Director, Dr. Rignani, the driving force behind our institution to share the annual report. Her insights and guidance have been instrumental in shaping our path towards excellence and achievement. Her words today will undoubtedly inspire us all to continue striving for greater heights. We welcome you, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, a very fresh good morning to all of you. I am delighted to welcome you all to the annual day and award distribution ceremony. Ratan Akar Shaping Lives. It's a privilege to have Shri Manish Singh Ji, IFS, presently Divisional Forest Officer Ghaziabad, among us today. Mr. Singh is one of the most humble and considerate bureaucrats I have come across. Your humility and thoughtfulness despite your station is exemplary for all of us, sir. You are doing an incredibly important job of looking after our green cover without which we cannot exist. I must tell you that our Delphites are also nature enthusiasts. And in our school, our care for ecology goes beyond slogans. We extend a warm welcome to you, sir. I also welcome our chairman, Dr. Rakesh Fuller, our rock-solid pillar of strength and the guiding force behind the heights we have reached and continue to climb. His commitment to taking the vision of our founder, Shri Darbhai Lalji, is unparalleled and an inspiration for all of us. I thank him for joining us for this event. I too welcome team from AFS Thailand, Mr. Napolo and Ms. Tawana, and team FSS, AFS India. My heartiest welcome to our own dear parents. It is always a great pleasure to come face to face with you on such occasions. I assure you that today's event will not only be a treat for your senses, but it will also give you a powerful message to take back home. Dear friends, I would like to start by sharing a fantastic news. You will be glad to know that the last week, our school was ranked the second best co-ed school in the city of Gaziabad by the Education World India School Ranking. This award comes an affirmation of the research backed innovative pedagogies and child-centric policies we have been embracing for close to three decades now. We had the highest score for teacher competency. As our partners in education, you too deserve to be congratulated on this win because nothing would have been possible without your constant cooperation and support. Award boosts the sense of self-esteem in children and also motivate them to achieve higher. In the series of awards, we give out to deserving students. We are happy to add three more scholarships this year. First is the Rami Vadavan Exemplary Citizen Awards instituted in the loving memory of Principal Seema Jairat's mother, Mrs. Vadavan. I thank the Mr. I thank the Mehta family, the patrons of Harish Chandra Mehta Award for the budding sports personality for students of grade 6 to 8 instituted in the memory of Shri Harish Chandra Mehta, former head of Hindustan Petroleum. My thanks also to Ms. Namrata Aurora for her thoughtfulness gesture who instead of a material gift gave her a mother a gift of lifetime in the form of sponsoring Moonbeam Scholarship for the deserving girl student in grade 12. Indeed, our Delphites have been shining like gems. I am so happy to say that every day our Delphites actualize our vision of creating conscious, courageous and caring global citizens. 
be it academic sports post scholastic affairs or discharging student social responsibility our delphites have been leading on all fronts if you were to ask me what would be the distinguishing quality of delphites once they leave the school portal i will say confidence even when i meet alumni on our school they tell me ma'am we are the first ones to volunteer to lead at our university colleges or at workplaces thank thanks to the leadership opportunities we got at the school that is the kind of impact right schooling can have on children today i wish to offer you a small glimpse of the multi faceted achievements of our confident delphites dear friends we have been churning out district and all india toppers since 2004 over the years our students appearing in class 12 and 10th exams have also been receiving certificates of merit from cbsc for ranking in the top 0.1 percent slot in the academic year 2223 our school topper yash dikshit scored a brilliant 97.4 and ahilya saha scored fantastic 98.8 in class 12th and 10th board exam respectively five of our delphites have made it through the portal of prestigious india institute of technology with two of them rishit singh and arnav ranjan now studying at iit delhi this year we also had the largest number of students cracking the neat exam and moving closer to their dream of becoming doctors and surgeons five delphites are pursuing mbbs in medical colleges across the country many of our students have also gone to the prestigious national and international universities all over the world to pursue higher education right from university of massachusetts to sukhdev college delhi university we benchmark our performance not just with our peers in our neighborhood or city but with the best school across the country the essay test launched by educational initiative is one such means to establish an objective standard of comparison i feel proud to announce this year too we have performed the way above the national average even the in even in the internationally conducted cambridge primary checkpoint delphite studying the cambridge curriculum have performed way above the international average in every subject friends we take pride in the vibrant culture of innovation and research that we have fostered in our school over these many years we believe that one of the chief objectives of education is to make the world a better place to live for all those who breathe on it we are committed to equipping our delphites with all that is needed for them to become innovators and thinkers our edu our innovation hub is loaded with advanced gizmos and gadgets as you can see on the screen our young innovators are working on such life changing projects that are set to make the world sit up and take notice our school was selected by eny as part of its stem app pilot project for girls 98 delphite girls from class 7 to 11 were mentored by the tech team of eny and also ms kalpana joshi ms mamti their chodi ms gargi the idea was to identify a problem that affects them and to develop a solution that is mindful of sdg goals very happy to share that 6 out of 17 projects made by our delphi girls were selected for intercity exhibitions and friend a book won the intercity exhibition this session 63 delphites are working on the next set of design for the ei stem project program in our school we have a policy that every child is bound to play at least one sport of their choice and learn at least one visual or performing art because we are committed to holistic development of our learners and we are glad to share that we can see the outcome of this policy delphite are winning accolades and awards in various sports athletics and martial arts be it tennis basketball football yoga skating karate jeet konade 
swimming our delphites are winning every year making us a winning school as recent as yesterday our swimming champions they have brought laurels in cbsc club cluster sports held at mujaffarnagar delphite priya nandini nia roda ira gaur navya these four girls are now set to play at the national level our best wishes go with them right now still they are at the swimming pool of mujaffarnagar school i also congratulate their parents and coach on that note i am also happy to announce that very soon we will have a covered badminton court as well as table tennis court for our delphites in our team delphites are not behind when it comes to performing arts either many of our delphites such as ayan chanana prateek chitkara have featured in movies short films web series we also hosted an international film festival earlier in april where we had animators and filmmakers from germany japan iran and other parts of globe i'm sure that these children will grow up to to be artists of reckon within the future ladies and gentlemen we also have a galaxy of literary stars a true testament to the thriving culture of reading and writing we have in this school many of our delphites are already published authors whose work has been published on various plot platform such as scholastic charter for compassion brie books etc our young authors are already earning royalty from their work just last month we were invited to the national summit and skilling expo organized by cbsc funded by world bank we were privileged to showcase the tremendous work we are doing with our enterprise club our enterprise club and its product stole the show all the 57 speakers were gifted planters made by our school enterprise money plant at the expo we also got the opportunity to exhibit our two most innovative projects the medicine app and the viral fitness pool car in the exhibition meant to celebrate second year anniversary of nep 2020 we were among the 10 schools invited to showcase our best practices our students have been carrying our message of cleaner and more breathable area air and water conservation to the prestigious platforms such as united nations india where they performed as recent as last week eight of our delphites presented paper at the young leaders g20 international summit in presence of eminent personalities such as director of un information center for india and bhutan delegates from niti ayog ministry of forest and climate change and many others from france thailand canada and other countries six out of these eight delphites bagged awards at the summit avni choudhary and charunan won the award for the second best research paper pulkit maheshwari was chosen as the best delegate and he along with anviksha also won the exemplary communique award Our Delphites also performed at the Namaste Deutschland, where they were praised by His Excellency the German Ambassador for their zeal and talent. Ladies and gentlemen, all these, all this is to say that we strive to bring these opportunities of exposure to our learners, for them to meet and interact with some of the finest minds in our country and the world. not only that we also strive to bring the world to dlf public school as part of our long ongoing wheel of friendship student exchange program to promote intercultural learning over the years we have had children from across the globe come and study with our delphites as you can see on your screens as of now we have nine exchange students from thailand with us who will surprise you with their bhangra moves they are learning english candle making cooking baking dancing yoga etc with us i would like to take this opportunity to thank the host families who have opened their doors and heart to these children 
I'm sure these children will take back happy memories of their stay with you. Even on prestigious international forums, Delphites have been making their presence felt. Last October, in the World Dance Festival held at Egypt, Pratna Marotra impressed the youth and sports minister of Egypt and other international delegates with a powerful speech on the burning issue of global climate change. She was also interviewed by the international media as a representative voice of the India student community. Our troupe of dancers are set to fly to Egypt next month in November for the festival. We wish them the best for the same. Begin the agents of change is part of DNA of the school. In collaboration with the Lung Care Foundation and Indian Medical Association, we release the clear air anthem on the World Environment Day. We also hosted and participated the All India Influencers Roundtable, where some of the finest minds hashed out the mayors we, we can take to make the year of our city cleaner. As part of the Wish Tree project, Delphi visited foster care homes and old age homes to share their happiness with residents. Delphi fulfilled the wishes of children of the orphanage and brought smiles to their faces. I also thank you for your support in helping us run the happy fridge whereby Delphi ensured that nobody in the neighborhood of the school goes hungry. You will be glad to know that this year our Delphites will be celebrating Green Diwali with the children of Blind School Sahababa. Giving back to the society and compassion is a way of life at this school. We call it the DLF way of life. Friends, our teachers are also lifelong learners. Recently, our teachers went, underwent a series of workshops on competency-based assessment as emphasized in the NEP 20. This framework shifts the focus from rote memorization to a more comprehensive evaluation of knowledge, skills, and critical thinking. 18 of our teachers also underwent three days long hands-on workshop on progression of core skills by the British Council. We have also entered the Skills Builder Partnership with, with British Council and enabling enterprise. This partnership will strengthen our commitment to integrate skill building with school curriculum. We also take our learning beyond the pale of our school. In August this year, Principal Seema Jairaj was one of the facilitators in the Pradhana, Pradhanacharya Yojana for growth and initiative by CBSC meant to transfer pedagogy and assessment for K-12 education. She onboarded about 800 principals from North and East Zone of India through multiple virtual sessions. She was invited to the South Asia School Leaders Conference in Phuket to share our school inclusive practices. Dear friend, it is a constant endeavor to bring opportunities be it for our students or our teachers. These are windows of opportunities that allow them to shine and grow. But ultimately, without your support, these opportunities would not yield the outcomes we desire. Therefore, I take this opportunity to urge you to support and encourage your children to make the best use of these possibilities and grow. The potential to shine, to shine is there in each child. Sometimes you need someone who could awaken the potential. As you will see in the splendid show, our Delphites have put together for you. I once again welcome our chief guest, Shirmanish Singh, the patron families and the whole parent community that has joined us today. Ladies and gentlemen, the theme of today's event is shaping lives. As you will see in some time, we all have gems of tremendous potential hidden inside us. But at times we need the right mentor. 
the right guide who can identify this potential within us and help us shine in the world. We genuinely believe that each child who enters our portal is endowed with unique qualities and is gifted. Our role is just to remove the bits that prevent them from realizing their worth. I wish you have a great show ahead. Thank you. It is a testament to the tireless efforts of our students, teachers and staff all working in harmony to excel in every facet of education and character development. Thank you, ma'am. Kind attention, dear parents. There is a slight announcement here. Uh, there is a red swift part in front of someone's house. The number is UP14. 2563. If you are the owner, kindly attend your car, please. A vision is a seed, a window into the future, which only a few can nurture. For us, this guiding star is an esteemed principal man with over three decades of experience as a teacher, master trainer, author of 30 books for teachers, students, and parents. She is a beautiful combination of the head and the heart. Her contributions in the field of education have been acknowledged with numerous prestigious awards. At present, Ma'am is engaged with the Pradhana Chara Yojana for growth, a training program for CBSC principals to bring NEP 2020 to life. Ma'am believes that education is incomplete if it doesn't have a societal purpose or moral obligation. Her efforts have made DLF Public School a thinking school with a soul. We request you, ma'am, to please address the gathering. Thank you, Agni. That was beautiful. Respected Chairman, Sir Dr. Rakesh Kudar. Executive Director Dr. Mignani, our Chief Guest Mr. Manish Singh Ji, all our special invitees here today, teachers, dear parents, Delphites, ladies and gentlemen from the press, and all of you are well-wishers. Good morning. It's a privilege to have you all here today as we celebrate the child-centeredness that forms the core of our school. Congratulations to each of you on your school being ranked among the top two schools of Ghazibad. And a warm welcome to our chief guest, Mr. Manish Singh, who has demonstrated that he shares our school's belief that the purpose of our lives should be larger than ourselves. Uh, he has actually addressed real-time issues uh, through his work on climate change. And sir, it's wonderful to be sharing this celebratory morning with you today. Uh, much as I would like to revel in our success stories as shared by Edie Ma'am, I will use today differently. I will use this opportunity, I call it a very precious time that I have with you parents, to address an issue and a concern that is of paramount importance. And I hope I will get your support and your attention. So it is a need that emerged post-pandemic when a lot of things changed. You see, a lot changed inside our classrooms also. Mindsets changed, attention spans changed, and the challenges that our students face have evolved. They changed. And as educators and parents, we have to adapt accordingly. And that is what I'm going to talk about. So these changes were the very reason why we felt the need that we must have an induction program with you for 6 to 12 uh, in July this year. And it was the first time we have done it in 27 years. Otherwise, we didn't have induction programs after class 5. So my interactions with students in classes 6, 7 and 8 and my conversation with hundreds of parents during my rounds I do on PTM in July, in September, in October, I meet almost 100 parents every time on the PTM. They have brought also some crucial concerns. 
And the first conversation, the first need originated when we were having our result discussions during PA1 and uh, during the half yearly results. So our school's premise has always been that every learner has to show progress. I always say they are not balanced, that it's not working, we can change it. They're real children. We have to, we can't give up on them. And so that is how we, uh, that every learner has to show progress. So during result discussions, we make it a point to go through every child's outcomes. And I don't mean marks. I mean we analyze their attitude towards learning and are they progressing. So there is an arrow that the teacher will put or an arrow down that she will put. And for every child whose engagement with learning goes down, I ask why. And then we work on what is the strategy going to be. So for every class, every one evening we stay back for every class to discuss results like this every time for the last so many years. And in response to the why when I asked, many teachers shared that the attention span of students has gone down. They get distracted very easily. They are restless in class. Yeah, it's there on the screen. And there is a lack of focus. And we even have instances of children going to sleep in the class. Or they become absent regularly because they cannot get up in the morning. And this time we even had a child, more than one child, go to sleep during the exams. Never before. And parents say that because they are so busy, they are working online, they are doing something online in the night, they can't get up in the morning. And parents feel helpless and they have asked us for help. To understand what's going on better, I went to every class. I spoke to the children, engaged with them. I asked them about their daily routines and what hinders their ability to excel. Are you doing your best? Uh, what stops you? Even here we had the Independence Day function, I talked about freedom from that aspect. Is there a hurdle? Hundreds, thousand children sitting here, they said yes, ma'am, devices. One child said my relatives, but largely they said social media, devices. So those were the responses children gave me. Interestingly, across all classes, I went to 7th, I went to 8th, I went to 9th, I went to 10th, the responses were similar. Students expressed a desire that they want to prioritize their studies, but they struggled to concentrate. One child said, the phone is here, the books are there, so I think first I look through the phone, then I go to the books, and in the meantime, one, two hours are gone. Many students uh, said, uh, cited, I said, okay, give me, what is it? They said, procrastination, our attachment to digital devices, particularly smartphones. And they revealed that frequent social media use Online gaming, PUBG was also one of the games that I remember. Instagram and the consumption of content on platforms like Snapchat and YouTube were eating into their time and focus. One student in class 8, I remember saying, I want to focus on my studies but I can't concentrate because I keep checking my phone. Additionally, many students shared their struggle with time management due to the allure of online gaming and social media. Um, I made a note of this child in class 7 who said, Ma'am, I want to stop using my phone so much. Class 7 is more amenable. But when I'm on it, I just lose track of time and time just passes. I also asked children how frequently they checked their phone or went to social media. Can you even guess what the response is? I was stopped, surprised. What do you think? How frequently do children check their phones or social media? Every 15 minutes is what I'm hearing. Yeah, well. Then you're lucky, your children said 30 minutes. And 7th class, all of the classes said the same thing, 30 minutes. Some said 20, but largely it was 30 minutes is the average that I got randomly when I spoke to them. But dear parents, this problem is not peculiar to us in India. This alarming pattern reflects a global trend. 92% of children in the age bracket of 12 to 17 years are online regularly. And it's a common trend across the globe. So in a survey conducted across different ethnic groups, whether Europeans, Asians, uh, Hispanians, 70% agreed that social media is the biggest cause of distraction. And recent studies show that 48% of Gen Z students, that is the children born between 1996 and 2015, these are the children who have never known the world without internet. 
these children, there is a research on the screen, and these children admit that social media makes them feel anxious, sad or depressed. And 58% are actively seeking relief from it. The constant need to check notifications and updates has significantly affected attention spans, with research indicating that smartphone usage has reduced the average attention span to just 8 seconds. Some of you may have also noticed your children getting easily distracted while you are talking to them, or even their sleep patterns getting disturbed. We must make a note. Another worry that a large number of parents have been sharing in the last two years is that my child does not confide in me or does not share everything with me. Now here arises a very important question. Why is it that some children confide in their parents, yet a significant number of children are secretive about what's going on in their lives? I'm only talking with respect to seven to nine. They talk only when they are forced to parents say. Some parents share the conversation is only confined to yes, no, okay, or some monosyllabic word. So that is all they get from their child. And this is the same child who some years ago was sharing everything with you. It hurts. It's crucial. But what happened? Why did this happen? So it's crucial to understand why some children confide in their parents while others don't. So as your children grow up, they face numerous pressures. So there is societal pressure, peer pressure, and the pressure of their own expectations. Now, if your child sees you as yet another pressure point, then every conversation is only going to close. It's going to get jammed up. It's not going anywhere. So take a step back and adopt a listening strategy. Give your child, communication is key. Give your child time and space and you will see your child open up. With patience, you have to give that time and space. And that is your breakthrough. Usually, we are always having so much work to do, so we adults, even we teachers, we want to reply immediately so that we can fix things immediately. Instead, we need to be good listeners, showing empathy and understanding, giving them the space to express themselves without judging them. The most common mistakes that we adults, parents and educators make consciously or unconsciously, is becoming judgmental. Remember, your teenager or teenager-to-be, they will soon be, is looking for the freedom to make decisions and exercise choice. Now, our being judgmental sometimes, and we stop it before they are able to take a decision, that is an impediment. I remember this class 9 child telling me that my, I wish my parents would just listen to me more and not judge everything I say. Okay, what happens when we use statements like, you cannot go to the party, you cannot go to play now? It makes your teenager rebellious. We parents need to kill this dictator personality, but it's okay to say no. I call, I say, I call it vitamin N, a most essential vitamin. Vitam no is good, but ev back up every no with a logical why. We owe it even to our tiniest, youngest of children to explain to them why they are being denied something. So, I must also impress upon you the damage that comparisons can do to our children and to our relationship with our children. We parents and teachers often forget the fact that each child is special, each child is unique, each child is beautiful. What then is the point of comparing? Like we can't compare the sun, moon and the stars. Don't we talk about this in the first induction program that we have when your child comes in nursery? We do. So we don't even have exams or ranks and all those primary classes for the same reason that you can't really compare one child with another. We just look at everybody's strengths. So these constant comparisons can erode their self-esteem and lead to insecurities. So instead, let's try motivating them with positive and encouraging words, fostering their self-respect, fostering their confidence, Try out expressions like, thank you for helping with dinner, it made a big difference. Or, thank you for sharing this information, I really didn't know about it. This is something I do. I learned this new word from them, I-R-L. Any idea what is I-R-L? You know because you are a psychologist. In real life. So, I, yeah, there's a child raising his hand. So, I-R-L is in real life because for them there are two lives. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> 
So, but I and I said thank you for sharing. My I went to Facebook. A child made my account from the school before he was leaving for before the farewell, and said, "Ma'am, you should be connected on Facebook." And that is how you know. So we learn from them. Or saying, "I am so proud of you." These phrases should be used liberally, not not insincerely, but liberally, because your your appreciation and your acceptance works wonders. Unfortunately, the most common stress for children comes from their well-meaning parents. This is how it usually starts. So, when a child seems to be unmotivated, we, as parents, feel it is our duty to fix it. We start encouraging, we nudge a little, and somewhere along the line, it turns into nagging or we shout, the yelling. Now, that is a no-no. So, let me tell you that chronic stress. children experience chronic stress which comes from parents nagging and yelling and stress is the most common problem for unmotivated children so research says there are many reasons why a child is not motivated but it is not lazy is not one of those reasons science tells us that lack of motivation has something to do with insufficient impact of neurotransmitters called dopamine and parents nagging and yelling can actually reduce dopamine and a child actually i never thought children knew about dopamine but a class uh, a boy while i was talking to them in class 7 told me ma'am we play video games because it increases our dopamine levels it was a pleasant surprise but the child is not wrong a study conducted at oxford university has found that moderate levels of video game playing does not pose negative effects so my advice to parents would be that once in a while you can join their game as multiplayer games or at least discuss with them rationally how much time you, know, you need to set boundaries so how much time is okay so maybe half an hour a day of video games one hour a day of video games rationalize it and ration it so children need both they need your love they also need your limits so while love is a motivator punishment nagging and yelling is the opposite Can you have the next slide, ma'am? How many of you can relate to this slide? Just raise hands. I want to know whether I'm getting somewhere. How many have seen something like that? Yeah. So I have a significant number of hands. Thank you very much. So do you worry about this? Because many parents have shared concerns with me that their child is glued to the device, and this issue of excessive device use is actually a concern. so you need to look out for the signs of addiction using a device is good for you i mean there's lots you can do with it but uh, if you notice even two to three of these signs then it is time to intervene through a meaningful conversation but before you talk to your child you have to look at your own internet etiquettes and make amends if need be and then talk to the child So if we want to limit our children to limit their screen time, we must set an example. And when I say screen time, I don't mean I mean the the screen time that is not productive. Otherwise, they can. So for the benefit of the children, and actually if we think about it, even for our own benefit, we too must limit the use of devices. We cannot ask the children to not use their phones while we are all the time on ours. So. try to have a solution we always talk about in terms of solutions to try to have some quality device free family time it will be immensely rewarding i am a strong strong proponent of the adage the family that eats together stays together it's not just a cheesy dialogue from that movie hum aapke hai kaun but it's actually true eating together actually strengthens the family bond it opens communication and it creates a sense of unity but a word of caution here simply sitting down at the same table is not enough if the family members are distracted by the television or the phone so television and mobiles should not be allowed at the dining table very difficult i know but as a rule at least for one meal try it at least for one meal it will be rewarding i can see i can sense the so other ways are reading cooking gardening or simply conversing together can help reclaim your child's mindfulness no gadgets and phones should be used after bedtime this is very important 
This would change the lives of many children before they reach class 11. Influence your child, children while they are still influenceable. You won't be able to do much after two years. While doing all this, please don't demonize internet or social media. Technology is here to stay and is actually the way forward. It's a brilliant tool if we use it wisely. We cannot turn the clock back. So help your, our children to find better accounts to follow on social media. When I talk to them about how does it feel you after you have seen it, so generally the feeling all the children said was they felt rejected. If now somebody doesn't uh, give them a like, they feel rejected. So so many reasons for feeling negative. So most of the time I even got a word is toxic from the children that after they are done with that one hour or whatever they do, they feel toxic. A lot body image uh, issues also arise when they do all this. So help our children to find better accounts to follow on social media. Take interest in what they are using their devices for. How are they interacting on social media? What platforms are they active on? Who are the people that they are influenced by? Who are they following? What are they posting? Are they into cyberbullying? Are they being cyberbullied? It's a reality, huge reality. 75% of children are. Teach them that abusive language, swear words or defaming friends and teachers is a no-no. So a lot of the 8 and 9 children are making negative memes and sending them out. And when I, we find out who are the children and we talk to them, usually it is for tushan, to feel like, look like a dude, to get to impress their friends. That is the reason why they are doing it. But without reason, realizing, they can cross this fine line between trying to impress and cyberbullying. Making a meme of a teacher is cyberbullying. And if, depending on how it is. And even cybercrime. So there are all these fine lines there. So we have to be cautious about it. And now children, there are all these new serials on OTT. So what has started happening is that the objectionable language of the, uh, commun of the OTT is becoming the everyday language of communication with some children. We need to put a stop to that. And we need to work together as a family to make these changes. Very important that, okay, Papa decides that we will not have uh, devices after bedtime, but Mummy doesn't agree, will not work. We have to first understand it's important, build consensus, and be consistent about this once you take that decision. So all the family members must agree. Try to get the devices out of sight out of mind as often as you can, whenever you can, you decide. But ban devices at meal times, at least one meal time, no phones after bedtime for anyone. I have to warn you from experience, what parents of senior children have shared with me, that before you do anything, you will have to have a deep conversation with your child to explain the reasons behind these family rules. We are doing this from the school. The peer educators are talking about it. Counselors are talking about it. But the family rules is the family's prerogative. And get a buy-in from your child. Your child has to agree. Rationalize and make them agree. Don't even try to push children into the rules without explaining to them the rationale. Otherwise, I will give you real examples. Because you will witness one of the most original tantrums and emotional outbursts that you will be tempted to surrender to them for the sake of peace. You will say, chhodo, can't do it. I have examples where the moment parents tried, child wrote goodbye, I can't take it anymore. And the parents got panicked. Somebody even tried to slip their wrist. Children shout, they scream, they go into the toilet and they are in the toilet for the whole day not eating anything, that is their way of punishing you. I am speaking from experience shared by parents. Be firm and focus on the issue. Don't focus on the emotion. That's the way to take it. Remember the words. So I said it so slowly. <laughs> Be open also to learning new things from them. You know, how do you get that conversation going? So have those conversations. Like I said, we, we keep learning from the children. At our end, being the responsive school that we are, we are actively working, addressing these issues through our digital citizenship program, where children learn about safe and responsible online behavior. Our guidelines are displayed in our computer labs. Uh, there is a cyberbullying uh, 
agreement every class makes, which is placed in every classroom also. Our school almanac also has it. So they are constant reminders. I don't know how many children will open the almanac and read, but I would in <laughs> invite you to open the almanac, refer to it, and reinforce that behavior. Dear parents, digital wellness doesn't mean that we break up with technology. It is about managing technology wisely, using it productively, and balancing our digital lives with the real world. So I look at this essential conversation as an opportunity for collective reflection and I know that you are listening. Thank you so much. Uh, it's not a blame thing but it is something very important. I, somebody has to talk about it. I couldn't think of a better forum. So I, I uh, And uh, there are many more issues that need to be thrashed out. I'm just touching the beginning of it and they need to be thrashed out in greater detail. So I propose more parenting sessions if you are interested. We can have more parenting sessions in the coming year. Can I have a show of hands to know how many of you would be interested in knowing? Uh, I want uh, uh, sir, Aditi ma'am, Simran ma'am, take a picture of again raise your hands so that we know that yes, we have to do this. This is where, where our energy comes from. Thank you so much for this show of hands. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, if these little everyday things that matter much could be put in place while our children are still young, it will change the course for them. Making corrections once our children are much older is too complicated. So the well-known author Vikram said once was asked, how can I become a good human being? You know what his answer was? He said, you must choose your parents well. Well, the design of life is such that there are two things we can't choose. We can't choose our name and we can't choose our parents. So in the song that the Western Vocal Children sang, it was, it was written specially for you, chosen specially for you, they described you as that someone they need, if you will be that someone. A soul to rely on, a shoulder to cry on. This song emphasizes the role of parenting and without an iota of doubt, Parents are the primary architects of character and personality in the child. It's a huge responsibility. It's not something small. Given to you by God. And we cannot at any point give up on our children. So invest time in parenting when your boy is still a boy, when your girl is still a girl, not yet a woman. Ladies and gentlemen, time will not change our lives. Time will only change the expiry date of opportunities. Let us take every opportunity to raise the human potential of our children. So today's musical is not just an entertainer, it comes with a very important message. There is a Ratnakar and a Valmiki within each of us. Our life, our destiny is an outcome of the choices that we make, moment by moment, day by day, month on month, year on year. I want to close by just saying thank you. I've taken extra time. Thank you, Chairman Sir and Needy Ma'am, for your energy and synergy that you bring always. I thank our Chief Guest, Mr. Manish Singh, for the gracious acceptance and his promise to stay on till the end of the function. Uh, thank you to our te children's teachers, our superheroes, who have made heroes and heroines out of your children today. And they continue to do so every year. You must keep thanking them. It will change the, again the course of your children's lives. I acknowledge the responsible contribution and ownership of our 19th school guild who has been supporting us and managing today's event. And dear parents, thank you for being the ones that support us in giving an akar to every ratan, your children, the most valuable asset within the school. And thank you also for being here. Once again, thank you ladies and gentlemen for your attention and for your patience. Thank you. Mom, for your insightful words. Parents, teachers, and students are the stakeholders that build an institution together. In DLF, we are on a mission to make every child learn beyond the boundaries. It is a sweet coincidence that we have students from Thailand with us now, and we are ready to give you some glimpses of an indo thai cultural confluence to a fusion dance, where a fabulous rendition 
of traditional dance of Thailand was taught by our Thai Delphites to their counterparts. Our Indian Delphites are no less. They took it upon themselves to teach their counterparts a heartland dance form of India, the power-packed Bhangra. So please, put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome a heart-throbbing performance by the super energetic and enthusiastic Delphites. and my peers. I wish I was also a part of their troupe. I'm sure you're also dancing. Today. It is indeed an honor for me to be present here in this program. And I would like to thank the Principal Madam for inviting me and making me the chief guest for this program. This is a kind of program that I've attended for the first time because there are many programs like this I have attended, but the quality that I am seeing here, it's totally different. The annual report that was presented, it showcased so many different aspects that this school is covering. I mean, it is tremendous and it is, I would say, unbelievable that children at this stage, at this age, they are achieving such qualities, such values from the school. And I would like to congratulate the school administration for 
collecting such values in the children. As children are our future, so these values are of immense importance for our country, I would say, our society, and as well as our family. Family is the most important unit of a society, and it is as it is the smallest unit of the society. And whatever values we inculcate in the children, whatever values we have in our family, those are reflected in the society. And uh, a very bold presentation was made by the principal madam about what are the challenges that we are facing at present and what are the challenges that are our children are facing at the present. Because social media, it is a big issue at the present time. And the problems social media, se ho rahi hai, I mean, these are very long term problems. Maybe we are not able to do that. And I would say, in the parents' case, the presentation is very important. So, Madam, you are very good. You are very good. So, I think that the children are very good. They are very good. They are very good. ये स्कूल में जितने बच्चे आ रहे हैं किसी भी स्कूल में जो बच्चे आते हैं स्कूल तो सभी के लिए जैसा है क्लासेस सभी के लिए जैसी हैं क्लासेस में जो इनपुट दिए जाते हैं वो सभी के लिए एक जैसे ही होते हैं कुछ बच्चे एक्सेल कर जाते हैं कुछ बच्चे संभव उतना एक्सेल नहीं कर पाते या मे बी शायद थोड़ा सा पीछे रह जाते हैं तो डिफरेंस कहाँ पर आता है आई थिंक हमें बोलने की आवश्यकता नहीं है कहाँ पर आता है बहुत सारी चीज़ें जो हैं हम लोग को अपने अंदर देखनी चाहिए कि क्योंकि हम दो चार स्कूल्स में यहाँ पे पहले गए हैं गाजियाबाद में और जो प्रिंसिपल्स या जो टीचर्स हमसे मिले हैं उनका एक फीडबैक रहा है कि आज के डेट में पेरेंट्स जो हैं काफ़ी अग्रेसिव हो गए हैं और स्टूडेंट्स के साथ अगर थोड़ा सा भी उनके कंडक्ट को लेकर के अगर स्टूडेंट्स का खराब है और अगर टीचर्स कुछ भी करते हैं तो मतलब उसके काफ़ी जो है जो रिएक्शन्स होते हैं वो दे आर नॉट गुड तो बच्चों को हम लोग यहाँ भेजते हैं इस विश्वास के साथ एक जिम्मेदारी के साथ स्कूल को कि वो एक बेहतर नागरिक बनेंगे पहला जो हमें लगता है स्कूल का जो उद्देश्य है वो नागरिक बनाना है और उसके बाद उसमें हम किस प्रोफेशन में आते हैं किस हिस्ट्री में आते हैं दैट इज सेकेंडरी और कहीं ना कहीं जैसे प्रेजेंटेशन में बताया भी गया था कि चैलेंजेस जो कि आज की डेट में है टेक्नोलॉजी चूँकि इतना फास्ट डेवलप हुआ है पिछले आप देखें बीस पच्चीस तीस साल में जो स्मार्ट फोन्स आए हैं उनका टेक्नोलॉजी बहुत फास्ट चेंज हुआ है तो मे भी ह्यूमन सिविलाइजेशन में कभी इतना फास्ट टेक्नोलॉजिकल रिवोल्यूशन नहीं हुआ था और हमारा ब्रेन है हमारी बॉडी है वो शायद उसके अकॉर्डिंगली उतना फास्ट चेंज नहीं कर पा रही है बीइंग ए एडल्ट हो सकता है हम कर लेते हैं बट बच्चे जो हैं वो उतना फेस्ट फास्ट नहीं कर पा रहे हैं कहीं ना कहीं उसके जो निगेटिव इम्पैक्ट्स हैं वो आज के डेट में ज़्यादा हैं एज़ कम्पेयर टू पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट्स तो उसमें एज ए पेरेंट हमारा रोल बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रहता है और चौबीस घंटे होते हैं हम सभी के पास में उसमें से बच्चों का काफ़ी समय स्कूल में चला जाता है आई बिलीव सात आठ घंटे जाते होंगे पाँच छः घंटे या सात घंटे उनके सोने में चले जाते हैं रेस्ट ऑफ द टाइम जो है जो उनका घर पे आता है वो टाइम हम कैसे बच्चे गुजारते हैं वो बहुत मैटर करता है कितना समय हम लोग दे पाते बच्चों को हैं जैसे बताया मैडम ने कि जो कम्युनिकेशन है द काइंड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन भी है विद चिल्ड्रन वो कितना हेल्दी है कितना ओपन है कितना स्पेस बच्चों को मिल पा रहा है उस चीज़ को कम्युनिकेट करने के लिए अपनी फीलिंग्स को कम्युनिकेट करने के लिए आई मीन दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि जो साइकोलॉजिकल इश्यूज़ हो रहे हैं बच्चे एग्रेसिव हो जा रहे हैं या बच्चे जो है मतलब पेरेंट्स से अपने यसनों में बात कर रहे हैं बात अपनी बात को एक्सप्रेस कर ही नहीं पा रहे हैं तो इससे भी चैलेंज फॉर द सोसाइटी और बाद में वो हम लोग के बच्चों के लिए नहीं होता क्योंकि एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम हम जो भी अच्छी एड में कर रहे हैं हम जिस प्रोफेशन में भी हैं जो भी कमा रहे हैं जो भी कर रहे हैं संभव वी आर डूइंग फॉर फैमिली और अगर फैमिली का ही हम लोग ध्यान नहीं रख पा रहे हैं और फैमिली ही हमारी जो है सही से नहीं आगे चल पा रही है तो शायद हमारा जो भी एफर्ट्स आज में हम लगा रहे हैं वी नीड टू थिंक अबाउट दैट और यहाँ पे जब हम आए थे तो आई थॉट कि क्या बोलेंगे क्योंकि तो इतना सब कुछ यहाँ पर हमने देखा शायद इतना सब कुछ किसी और स्कूल में देखने को नहीं मिला तो बहुत कुछ बोलने के लिए शेष नहीं है हमारे लिए बट हाँ वन थी आई वाइक टू से तो लाइफ वी आर हैविंग तो लाइफ शायद हमारी जिंदगी में सबसे अच्छा चीज़ जो आज है और यह सब हो सकता आप सभी की जिंदगी में सबसे बड़ी चीज़ और सबसे अच्छी चीज़ आज में है वो यह है कि हम लोग यहाँ बैठ के इस प्रोग्राम को अटेंड कर पा रहे हैं दैट इज़ द बिगेस्ट ब्लेसिंग वी हैव बिकॉज आज सुबह हम अपने घर से निकले थे एंड आई सॉ दैट एक घर में डेथ हो गई थी 
So I came here. So it's a big blessing for me. It's a big, big blessing for all of us. Um, our hands are okay, our eyes are okay, our eyes are okay, our whole body is healthy. I mean, this is the second biggest blessing we have. Or as a human, as a living being, अगर हम खुश रहे बारे बिकॉज़ आई फील कि जो मेन उद्देश्य है लाइफ का हमको तो जिंदगी मिली है ये शायद खुश रहने के मिली है हर मोमेंट में हम लोग कितना प्रसन्न हैं कितना खुश हैं आई मीन दैट इज़ द बिगेस्ट थिंग और शायद हम जैसा कंडक्ट घर में करते हैं फ्रॉम आवर कंडक्ट आवर चिल्ड्रन लर्न हो सकता है हमको लगता हो कि हाँ वो सीख नहीं रहे हैं बट बच्चे बहुत ऑब्जर्वेंट होते हैं आई मीन वो हर एक्टिविटी को बहुत क्लिनली ऑब्जर्व करते हैं और हर एक्टिविटी से बहुत कुछ सीखते हैं So we need to behave, I mean, very uh, responsibly, be in public, yeah, be in at home. Or एक बड़ी अच्छी कहानी है हमको सुनाएंगे उसके बाद ही हम अपने बातों को खत्म करेंगे क्योंकि हमने पूछा था मैडम कितना समय हमारे पास है बोलने के लिए। तो कई बार हमको दिक्कत आता है कि लगता है कि लाइफ में बहुत कुछ चल रहा अच्छा चल रहा है but at some point of time बहुत बहुत कुछ खराब हो गया है। तो ये कहानी आप लोगों में से बहुत � अगर सुनी है तो ठीक है नहीं सुनी है तो मैं भी आई वो फील की कुछ चीजें हम इससे वापस लेकर के अपने साथ जाएंगे बेताल पच्चीसी एक हम लोगों के बड़े अच्छी वो है कहानी किताब है इसमें पच्चीस का करीब पच्चीस कहानियां हैं तो बेताल पच्चीसी जो है हम लोगों को ये बताती है कि लाइफ कैसे जीनी चाहिए तो उसकी पहली कहानी जो होती है वो ये है कि पूरी कहानी तो नहीं बताएंगे हम थोड़ा बताएंगे उसका कि राजा विक्रमादित्य जो है वो अपने दरबार में बैठे हुए हैं एंड मॉर्निंग का टाइम होता है सुबह नहा धोके सब बैठे हैं एंड देन राजाओं के उस समय होता था कि राजा दरवाजा लगाते थे और नागरी आकर के उनको कुछ गिफ्ट दे देते हैं जो जो के पास होता था तो एक बहुत गरीब सा फकीर टाइप के व्यक्ति आते हैं उनके पास में और वो उनको जंगली सफल देते हैं एंड विक्रमादित्य उसको ले लेते हैं बगल उनका वजीर बैठा होता है और वजीर को वो फल वो दे देते हैं वजीर को भी लगता फल तो हर किसी यूज का है नहीं उसको रख लेता है एंड देन ये चीज रोज वो आदमी आता है दस साल तक ही कीप्स ऑन कमिंग एंड ब्रिंगिंग द सेम फ्रूट्स एवरी डे और वजीर क्या करता है उसको रखता जाता है एक दिन क्या होता है राजा विक्रमादित्य वो फल जो है अपने वजीर को ना देकर के बगल में बंदर बैठा होता है उसको दे देते हैं तो बंदर क्या करता है उस फल को खाता है और जो बीज होता है थूकता है तो बीज में से जो है उससे बड़ा सा हीरा निकलता है तो राजा चौंक जाते हैं कि ये क्या है देन ही आज इस वजीर कि भाई वो जो बाकी फल दिए थे वो कहाँ गए तो वजीर भी चूंकि होशियार था तो उसको भी लगा भले फल जंगली हैं लेकिन राजा के हैं तो कम से कम उसको संभाल रखना चाहिए तो वो एक तहखाने में उन फलों को रखते रहते थे हैं तो देन ही इंस्पेक्टर एंड ही सॉ कि बहुत सारे हीरे जो दस साल में थे है ना वो वहाँ पर चमक रहे हैं तो द मोरल ऑफ द स्टोरी इज की लाइफ जो है वो हीरा है हर दिन हमको एक नया हीरा मिलता है बट हम हमारा एटीट्यूड क्या है हम उसको जंगली फल समझते हैं या हम उसको हीरा समझते हैं वो हमारे ऊपर निर्भर करता है तो आई वुड विश कि हम लोग अपनी जिंदगी को बहुत पॉजिटिव तरीके से देखना शुरू करें जिंदगी बहुत खूबसूरत है और हर पल में बहुत सारी छुट्टियाँ हैं हमको बच्चों का परफॉर्मेंस भी इतना अच्छा लगा आई मीन दे आर कमेंडेबल परफॉर्मेंस बाई ऑल ऑफ देम जितने बच्चों को यहाँ अवार्ड मिले हैं उन सभी को बधाई और जो नहीं मिले हैं देखिए ऐसा नहीं कोई हारा नहीं है कलेक्टिवली वी ऑल ऑफ इनर्स अगर आप लोग नहीं होते तो ये फर्स्ट कहाँ से आते हैं सेकंड कहाँ से आते हैं तो एज ए कलेक्टिव टीम हम सभी विनर्स हैं इट्स लाइक क्रिकेट टीम आजकल वर्ल्ड कप चल रहा है ग्यारह लोग खेलते हैं कोई एक ही मैन ऑफ द मैच हो पाता है बट टीम जीतती है ग्यारह लोगों के कम्बाइंड एफर्ट से तो जितने बच्चे आज जीते हैं उन सभी को बधाई जो लोग ऐसा फील करते उनको नहीं मिला है तो कल आपको मिलेगा आप सभी को बधाई कि आप लोग जो है स्कूल में पढ़ रहे हैं यहाँ के पूरे एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन को बधाई जो पेरेंट्स यहाँ बैठे हुए हैं आप सभी को हमारी शुभकामनाएँ और बच्चे जो हैं उन सभी को उनके फ्यूचर के लिए शुभकामनाएं आप सभी लोग आज दिन मंगल में हो थैंक यू सो मच अ वेरी बिग थैंक यू सर फॉर शेयरिंग योर वंडरफुल एंड इंस्पायरिंग थॉट्स विद अस यू आर ट्रूली अ मैन विद अ मिशन सृष्टि की संरचना का ज्ञान आर्ट छुपा है हमारी इस अगली प्रस्तुति में जब सत्य और असत्य से परे मृत्यु के भय से मुक्त इस धरती पे मनुष्य की इच्छा शक्ति ने जन्म लिया था इस शक्ति ने ही हमें पूर्णता का आभास कराया है और इसी शक्ति ने प्रज्वलित किया है परिवर्तन का चक्र 
As we gaze upon the earth, we witness a tapestry woven with threads of transformation. From ancient seas to majestic mountains, each shift, every whispering breeze, tells a story of evolution guided by a higher hand. The earth, like our souls, dances to epochs, a testament to the divine's boundless creativity and love. Let us honor this journey, knowing that within transformation lies the promise of growth and rebirth. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause presenting Ratna Akar, Shaving Life.
keeps me fit and young. You are literally the G O A T for real. Though I didn't know that we are supposed to have cricket balls instead of apples during eat off. Ha ha ha! L O L L O L. What do I tell you? These kids have made my life hell. They just don't get tired of breaking my windows. Yes, you are right. These kids, they have been breaking my windows as well.
feeling something happening inside me. It seems you all are overwhelmed. Yes. And just gather everything and leave. Do prepare for the blue party tonight. Something that even I can sense. What's this feeling like? The feeling of uncertainty. It's the feeling of bafflement. The feeling of mystification. Nara, nara. <laughs> My friend, do you even know who we are talking to? And the great Ratnakar, the Firol. In case you don't know, I just look at a bride. And it seems like you want to be looted too. No, 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 no. You're laughing? What are you? Who are you? What is it? It's your music. Your voice, your hair. No, 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 no. Good depression. Very good depression. That's what I am. Made of some music. Some happiness has out of this thing. Just like you, a famous for causing anguish to people, looting and guns, being cruel to the helpless parents and their strong young gentlemen in the court. So, why is that any of your concern? Sarai, Sarai, not to my concern, not to talk about the gentlemen. What are you trying to achieve through all of this? <laughs> Do you think I bring all of this just for myself? All this jewelry, this wealth, this power? It is for the well-being of my family. It's all theirs. They enjoy it. They own it. Alright, alright. Good the confidence. Very good the confidence. But are you confident enough? Clearly, it is family. They go into a suit. Ooh. Of course, if they enjoy the riches I bring to them, when they fall to my feet, when their desires are fulfilled, Definitely show they accept and own all my dreams and all my sins. Narai, Narai. Okay, very okay. Hope is the bigger thing I see. But you must go and ask them about the same. All I ask from you is to hear it from the horse's mouth. <laughs> I don't need to listen to their opinions. I trust them. They are my family. I have fed them my entire life. They can never ever break my trust. Don't you think I'll fall into this silly trap of questions? Narayan, Narayan, doubtful, slightly doubtful I see. I thought they would be trustworthy and so do you. Then what's wrong with asking them about the same? You seem a little ambivalent, my friend. Okay, if you say so, I'll go and ask them the same. Go on, you want my sins? I'll come back and watch your face crack in disappointment. Narayan, Narayan. Okay, go. Go. Let's see what you come up with. Narai, Narai. Relishing the wealth I did send to you. Yes, 
the taste of luxury, the feel of diamonds. Me? I am only a staircase for them to reach up to their dreams. They don't know my hard work, my crimes. Do they even love me? Oh goodness, do I have anyone at all who cares for me? I've got no business with my family or this for the sorry. Nine, 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 nine. Then they will speak very quick. And of course, they said yes, didn't they? Swami, please. And yes, I hate to say this, but you were right. To my amazement, nobody was willing to share the bag of sins. They want all the money, all the building. But they don't want me and my bag of karma. Nine, 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 nine. You seem sad, very sad. But yes, if you want to stand, you can go beyond all of this. I have had enough of this world. I want freedom from this labyrinth of crime, guilt and shame. Show me the way. Divine sage, please guide me on the path to transformation. Ah, lai, lai, lai. It's sadhana and penance. Yes, even for someone like you, the path of transformation begins with recognizing one's mistakes and seeking to make amends. I can guide you on this transformative journey, but only if you allow me to do so. Valmiki, you shall become the embodiment of virtue. Meditate upon the divine and create an epic that will inspire generations and generations forever. But Swami, do you think that evil guy like me will ever be able to receive Lord Rama's grace? Ever be able to get rid of all my sins? Ah, Rai, Ah, Rai. Yes, but only if you genuinely wish for it. But Swami, how do I do that? Ah, Rai, Ah, Rai. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just Jain Ram, 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 Very good question. Don't you worry. Don't let these small interventions affect your meditation. Just go with the flow. Keep going with Mara, Mara, Mara. And you will yourself hear the rivers. Ram, Ram, Ram. Na, na, na. Mara, Mara.
success. It requires dedication, vision and hard work. Transformation is a testament to the powers of change and the potential of growth that resides in all of us. Today's majestic performance isn't merely a story. It is an invitation to reflect on the profound journeys of self-discovery and growth we all embark upon. It is a mirror that shows us the boundless potential within each of us to embrace change, to evolve and to let our true selves shine. We would now like to call upon our beloved Renu Bhatia ma'am, the middle wing coordinator to propose the vote of thanks. Respected Chairman Sir, ED ma'am, Principal ma'am, our chief guest, beloved parents, teachers, and all my dear students. It is said that it takes a village to raise a child. And we have seen that our village here is ready, strong, and united. Together we have created an environment that nurtures loving, learning, growth, and excellence. I'm really thankful to all of you to have witnessed this beautiful presentation of ours, which embodied in itself self-reflection to self-creation journey. Atma Nirikshan Se Atma Nirman Yehi Yatra Aap Sab Ne Apni Upastiti Se Yahaan Pe Hum Sab Ko Anandit Mehsus Karaya Today I stand before you with heartfelt gratitude and sense of fulfillment for the culmination of our annual event. It is a privilege to express our gratitude to each and everyone who has contributed to this momentous occasion. Our sincere appreciation to our parents for your unwavering support and encouragement, which is the anvil of our success. Our esteemed chief guest, Sri Maneshji, his presence elevated the, en the entire event to another level. I mean, his words of wisdom will definitely resonate with us and our children for years to come. Our chairman, sir, ED ma'am, principal ma'am, we express our heartfelt gratitude for your continuous support, guidance, motivation, and commitment to nurturing the young minds in our school. We are grateful for your vision and the driving force to steer the direction in the lives of these young minds. All our dedicated teachers, you are the backbone of our institution. And it's a privilege to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for orchestrating this entire event to the minutest details and taking it to success and showcasing the holistic development of our children. I extend my gratefulness to all the technical team and all the helping hands that have supported. Without your expertise and your precision, this wouldn't have come to success. And let me take the opportunity to inform that the entire recording of the entire presentation here today will be available on the school's YouTube channel by tomorrow. So you can witness it. All those who have not, uh, I mean, it was the, for those whom it would have been challenging to reach here, please, you can see your children performing. Let us come together as family, supporting and encouraging each other to achieve our goals, conquer our fears, and grow in wisdom and compassion. We are truly blessed to have you as a part of our school, beloved parents, teachers, and students. I take this opportunity that the approaching Vijaya Dashmi, may it inspire all of us to switch on to our best and be the best versions of ourselves. Let's conquer our own inner demons, reach new heights, 
and taste the sweetness of victory in every sphere of our life. Thank you all from the bottom of my, our heart and a, a wish from all of us. May you have Shubh Vijaya Dashmi. Thank you so much. I would now like to request all of you to please rise for the national anthem. Thank you to you all of you for spending